In Activity 7, Loud or Soft, students experiment with volume. They first compare loud and soft sounds and discover the different ways in which they are produced. Students then investigate the relationship of applied energy to the strength of an object's vibration and the volume of sound produced. You will need the following materials from the kit. Activity Sheet 7, Combs, Tongue Depressors, Sounds Audio CD, Plastic 30 cm by 30 cm, and Waxed Paper. You will also need to provide CD player and scissors. To prepare for the activity, make a copy of Activity Sheet 7 for each student. Set the CD in the CD player, ready to play at Section 2. Cut a piece of waxed paper 8 cm by 12 cm and a piece of plastic 1.2 cm by 10 cm for each student. Each student will need a sheet of waxed paper, a strip of plastic, a comb, and a tongue depressor. To begin the activity, instruct them to listen carefully and compare the sounds you play. Play the CD to the end of Section 2. Then ask students, what was different about the two pieces of music that you just heard? They should distinguish that the first piece was soft and the second loud. Explain that changing the volume of a sound makes the sound louder or softer. Repeat the demonstration. Then ask, how would you define volume? Volume is the loudness or softness of a sound. Invite volunteers to describe examples of loud or high volume and soft or low volume sounds they hear every day. Next, give each student a tongue depressor. Instruct them to tap lightly on a desk or chair with the tongue depressor. They should hear a soft sound. Then, tell the students to tap hard on the desk or chair with the tongue depressor. Then ask students, how does this sound compare to the first one? The second sound was louder. Now, instruct the students to clap their hands together lightly. Then have them clap their hands hard and ask, how did these two sounds compare? The students will hear that the second clap was louder than the first. Ask the students to think about how loud and soft sounds are produced. The students should recall that they created a soft sound by tapping or clapping lightly and a loud sound by tapping or clapping hard. Ask, what can you conclude about how loud and soft sounds are produced? The students will deduce that the harder an object is hit, the louder the sound that is produced. Next, give each student a comb and a piece of waxed paper and a strip of plastic. Instruct the students to cover the comb with the waxed paper. Have them hum and blow gently on the waxed paper. Then, have them hum and blow hard. Ask students what happened to the volume when you blew harder. When they blew harder, the volume increased. Next, have the students hold the strip of plastic between their thumbs, as they did in Activity 2. Have them first blow gently and then harder. Again, they will hear the volume increase. Introduce the term energy as the ability to do work. Help students understand energy is required to make an object vibrate. Then ask students, what do you think energy has to do with the volume of a sound? The students should infer that the more energy applied, the louder the sound. Next, instruct the students to repeat the procedures with the comb and the strip of plastic and to observe how it feels. Ask students, what difference do you feel? The students should notice that the vibrations feel stronger when they blow harder. Next, ask students, what is another way that you can use the tongue depressor to produce a sound? Accept all ideas. If no one suggests it, demonstrate how to hold down one end of the tongue depressor at the side of a desk and snap the overhanging end to produce a sound. Allow the students to snap the tongue depressors and ask, what do you hear? What do you see? They will hear a thud 
followed by a reverberating twang, and they should see that the part of the tongue depressor that hangs over the edge vibrates. Then ask students, why does the tongue depressor produce a sound when you snap it? The student should understand that its vibrations produce sound waves that travel through the air and reach our ears. Next, ask students, what change in vibrations do you think you will see when you snap the tongue depressor lightly and then with force? They should suggest that the vibrations will be stronger when the depressor is snapped with more force. Instruct them to snap the tongue depressor lightly and then hard. Then ask students, how do the sounds produced compare? How do the vibrations compare? When the depressor was snapped lightly, it produced a soft sound and weak vibrations. When it was snapped hard, it produced a loud sound and strong vibrations. Lead the students to infer that when vibrations are strong, the volume of the sound is loud, and when vibrations are weak, the volume of the sound is soft. Distribute Activity Sheet 7. Direct students to identify the sound produced in each picture and decide whether it is loud or soft. Discuss how the sound is produced and whether the force required to produce it is strong or weak. Summarize by asking, how would you relate energy to vibrations and vibrations to volume? The student should conclude that the more energy that is put into making an object vibrate, the stronger the vibrations, and the louder the volume of the sound. To conclude the activity, discard the waxed paper and plastic strips. Return the combs, tongue depressors, and CD to the kit. For science background, reinforcement activities, curriculum connections, and information about the Delta Science Reader, please consult your DSM Teacher's Guide.